Okay, welcome back everybody to the DCMC Gaming Channel. And we're about to hop in and take our turn against, well, let's see, I guess we can do both. Let's do Audi. This one gets a little bit more advanced. Let's check and see what happened here. This is the game where I think yeah, I dared him to, yeah, and he didn't do it. So let's see. <coughs> what did he do? Two fighters, cruiser, destroyer, submarine. Two fighters went where? Here. So he's trying to protect his fleet. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, that's probably a good move. What do you do? South Africa. Okay. Well, we're going to go this way and this way. Put this plane back up here where we need them. Oh, maybe we should send a plane here just to make sure we get that. Uh, Baltic States, one infantry, you lost one. Oh, you attacked Baltic States. With what? Oh, the two from Northwest Europe. Okay, that's an easy two back. Uh, season 48 ended in a draw. Ha, ah, see? Good thing I did send two destroyers here. And Belar Oh, we did attack. Wait, what? Defenders lost one anti aircraft. Yeah, so he tried to kill my anti aircraft artillery with four tanks. So we sent four tanks, three infantry, and two artilleries. He lost three infantry and two artilleries. That was expensive for an anti aircraft gun. Do I have odds here now? Hmm. 15, 18, 19, 20. Oh, oh. Smart move taking that first. 20 against 7. 12. 18. Nope. Not going to do it, but what I am going to do is I'm going to pivot here. I'm going to take this, this. I'm going to stack this, stack this. Well, some combination of the two. He's obviously vacated Caucasus, so we're going to grab it. We'll let him have Karelia. We can defend Karelia all day long in dead zone, West Russia and Belarus. Okay with that. Actually. Um, hmm. This is an interesting development. Where's his fleet still? We still got to worry about this. Six, seven, eight, uh, 14, 20, 1, 22, 23, 24, 25 against 6, 7, 8, 9, 13, 14, 15, 18. He's got 25. Against 18. We're going to have to build some ships. So now, can I stack West Russia? Answer is no. But I can hit it and stack Caucasus. And Baltic. He's only got three, four, five, six. He's got six plus three, or plus six is 12. Hmm. I can bring these guys up. <coughs> Force him down this way, which he might want to do because he's losing all his income here. And then we'll own Caucasus. Can I put any sh planes here? No, I cannot, cannot afford to do that. One, two, three. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-six. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 26, actually. I have six, 
7, 8, 9, uh, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. I've got some work to do. So, I think we can add some subs to that, or maybe a couple of destroyers, perhaps. Combination of the two. All right. Um, but it's, oh, what did he do with these guys? Four and four, four and two. Lost an infantry, good. Getting hit backs, Ukraine. I don't know if I would have put my tank out there like that. That doesn't make any sense. I can just hit this with all my tanks if I want to and then really stack this. Hit this, kill this with tanks and fighters and maybe a couple infantry. Sort of split up the uh, troops here. I don't know. What am I going to do here? I got to think about this. He only has one transport. So he can only bring one tank. I'm going to kill this. So one tank and six guys is seven. He can put six. That's 13. Yeah, gotta think about this. I feel like I'm, I should be taking advantage of this because of this. Plus two is 34, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40. If I go back to 40 very easily. Take this with your, take this with the tanks. I can support the tanks with the. Uh, Take it with Japan, that's even better. Ooh, I like that too. Can I hold it? If I take this and this, I could hold it. He's only got 20. I can put 7, 12, 13, 14, 15. Three, five, eleven, twelve, thirteen here. Fifteen here, thirteen here. Yeah, he can't he can't attack this. Or he'll risk losing Russia proper. Okay. Alright. So let's think about this. Okay. Ration these out though. He's got no planes. Oh, he's got two planes and six tanks. That's nothing. I think I'm going to move off um, France. So, more infantry. Well, actually, let's buy a plane. I know the plane. Eight and one. 
can take two away from the US and three away from the UK. And then we'll figure out how to divvy this up. Yeah. Do I want the plane though, actually? Kind of don't need it yet. I don't really need it at all. Something like that. Don't need anything here. Let's do that. Okay, so we're gonna walk into, well, we'll blitz in here. Need one tank there. Then these five are gonna go here. With two infantry. Two infantry here. I'm going to take eleven guys and kill this bomber to kill this. Attack with six British, no fighters. Suicide. You can follow up with an American attack of six, it's 12. And then a Russian attack. But he'd be slaughtering most of his units this way, and he needs his Russians here. So. Maybe put kind of like a mini stack here and stack this instead. Or just block it with one. Stack this and this. I think that might be a better move. We can dead zone West Russia, Belarusia, and Baltic state. You can end it with 12 and then six. Seven, eight, nine. That's fifteen. I think we can do that. <clears throat> but he can only hit Berlin with six. So I don't even really need to abandon. I don't even really need to abandon France. Maybe make it enticing for him a little bit. He could go six and then this way leaving these guys to all die. I guess they wouldn't die. Mm. Mm. What to do, what to do, what to do. But if I put these guys here, I could crush whatever he puts there. I could put six plus the American fighters, seven, eight, plus six. So that's 14. I'll have 10 plus 10. 20 plus the planes. It's 22. Oh, let's make sure we don't forget to do that. <laughs> and I'm going to send the plane here because I want to.
See, I'm not going to need these guys down here. I walk into here, walk into here with 15. It's 12, 13, 14, 15. And then he can't. Can't really take it back because I'll have three, four, five, 11, 12, 13 that can follow up. And he can only build. Six. Six, seven, eight he can put in there. Not enough. So yeah. That's the plan. This game actually is pretty close to being over. Which is gonna force him to do something here. He's gonna get in desperate mode. Let's do that. We'll, we'll take all these for now, and then we'll figure out where to put all of our units. Okay. Okay. That's why we sent the infantry. infantry to get two hits. Or three. <sighs> I knew it. See, I knew it. I'm going to take the plane. Oh, do I take the plane? It's going to be a while for me to get back down there. I take the plane. It's a negative five profit, but for now, I'll pick it back up. Okay. This plane is going to go back here. This bomber is going to go... back here. We're going to send we need there 12 16 19 have a 5 stack. Clean out some British and some, uh, he's ways away. He has to come up this way then. I have to decide whether he's going to try to hold Corellia. Bug out. And go for France. If he goes for France, he might have a shot right back at Africa again. But that's too late. So we are going to do that. I'm going to take these four. I'm going to leave six. He doesn't have any planes. So if he wants to take it with the British, he'll have to put six on six. And then follow up with the Americans. And we'll just crush it afterwards. Um, the question is, do I want to leave five here? Or do I instead want to leave six here and one here? I think six years better. Well, I hope you play, buddy. We can get a couple rounds in here, or a round or two. We've got 19 here.
problem is if he does take this with the Brits, which he might be inclined to do, it's going to cost him. So yeah, this is the right move. He can only reinforce with the British at this point, so he has to um, build there. Yeah, this is the right move. Okay. Uh, um, not missing anything. Six, seven, eight, nine, plus ten. Plenty. Plenty of attack power to retake this. Yeah, starting to open up our lead here now with 35, 36 point lead. It's his turn. Just trying to think about this Japanese situation now. Um, we've got how much to spend? Good amount. Okay. So I think a carrier is in our future. Two aircraft, that's 34. That gets us to 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. If we go to C zone 59. Oh, wait, what does he have here? 1, 5, 9, 15, 21, 22, 23. I'll have 21. My bomber. I'll have twenty two against his twenty two. One, five, six, seven, eight, nine, fifteen, twenty one, twenty two, twenty three. I'll have six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one. 22 against 23. So I might have to build a sub or something too. Or maybe a destroyer. A sub, because I'll be the attacking units. A couple subs. And then try to put more guys on the land as much as we can after that. That's going to be the plan for Japan. And then. We're going to actually might have odds on Russia right now. We got 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Against 20. Hmm. One more turn. Come on, buddy. Take your turn. Now, actually, I am going to attack this if he doesn't take West Russia. If he goes for something like this instead and tries to put guys here... I'll attack with these six and these. Uh, he could attack with the 
Americans. These guys probably aren't going to be around, but I could come through here with six tanks, five tanks. But he can build six. Oh, the dilemma. Oh, the dilemma. Or just be patient. Take Caucasus with Japan. I prefer to take it with the um, Germans actually here, though. Could leave it for the Germans, depending on what he does. Well, let's pause it. Hopefully he doesn't go offline, and uh, we can pick this back up when he takes his turn. So I'll be right back. So I was looking at this here, and I'm thinking, if he gets a little squirrely here, um, I can hit him with eight tanks and all this. I mean, Karelia will be mine. So I can, um, oh, he's taking his turn. Oh, okay. Um, oh, he is going to go for West Rush. Okay. That was a smart move. So I'm glad I put six guys there. And he's going to grab Northwest Europe. Oh, he's going to attack this too. Okay. But, you know, I was thinking, I can't let this get away from me here um, because it'll ruin everything. So I have to make sure I spend money on fleet here. Let's watch this battle. I should the six on six should be pretty close. Three on two, okay. Now it's three on four. He's dead. Oh my god, I don't think I've ever seen my infantry hit that hit like that before. One for one. Get some more hits here, boys. Oh, one for one still. Okay. One. Two hits. Oh, come on, man. Three on two. Or three on, yeah. Okay. They're doing their job. He's not going to retreat, is he? Is it glitching? Might be glitching. We well, got it with one. Fair. He needed it. Now, he, now we know he's coming back this way. So, Karelia will be mine. Because he has to protect the fleet. Oh, what did he buy? Three for three, three for three TR artilleries. Okay. Okay, now I gotta be smart. So, I think we're gonna build a carrier. And we're gonna put two planes on it. But we're gonna build a carrier here. Because we're gonna put our guys on the mainland from here. So we're gonna need to protect them. Uh, I think we're gonna build two destroyers and we're gonna put them here. And we're only gonna build three units or one infantry. We have to respect this. So one infantry. Okay, now, question is, we can take it light this is what we're going to do. Take this. Still get this guy back here. And then we're going to stack here. That's it. 
So we're gonna do. Oh, he's offline. Oh, come on, man. I guess I can take my time now. Can't grab him now. Everything else is going to go here. Seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. Uh, sorry, eighteen. Bring four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, fifteen, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three. But we're gonna build two destroyers here, so that's uh, eighteen, nine, twenty. Plus, we're gonna have two fighters here and the bomber. They want the bomber in there. Not looking pretty for him. Though he does have odds on, but I don't care. I'll 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 smash my fleet against his if I have to. Okay. Aircraft carrier here. Two fighters here. Infantry here. Oh no! Infantry cannot go there. About that, if we cannot go there, well, if we has got to go here, fifty two, twelve, eight. Well, oh. he's minus ten on plus ten, thirty five, almost a forty two point lead, forty three point lead. And he's offline. So we don't know what he's going to do here. Could go here, but he can't destroy or block me. So I can hit him. And the planes can still reach. And the bomber. One, two, three, four, five, six. So I will, I will take that fight. Just so you know. Twenty four, twenty seven. You can build six. Bring his tank back. His Karelia will be ours. He's gonna bring his one tank down here with this battle. Land in France. That was a, that's the wrong move. It's too late for that. All my troops forward like this. Russia is just a matter of time for falls. Can't stand. And I can just defend against this. That's all Japan. Japan has enough guys on the ground. 
more than enough guys on the ground. And UK is only bringing in 20. He's got no backup either, I believe. Yeah, he's got no backup. I could build it, I guess. If he builds eight guys here, that means he can't build anything here, or hardly anything here. So again, the rule of thumb is if they build infantry or land units on this side, you can build infantry and land units on your side. And that's how you play the, that's how you do the two ocean strategy, or that's how you defend against the two ocean strategy. Just zigzag warfare. I've mentioned that in my previous videos. But he zigs, you zag. So he's giving us Karelia. These guys going to move into here probably. Or five of them at least. I'd probably put all six to be honest with you. But it doesn't matter because... Well, he could take this. me to retake it. It doesn't matter. Whether the Germans own it or the Japanese own it, it actually doesn't really matter at this point. Uh, preferably you want the Japanese to own it, but that's if there was major pressure on Germany and there's not. So it, either one of them can own it and it's not going to make any difference. So this game's really effectively over. I mean, there could be one big last gasp fleet battle I'll do my best to avoid that because it's not necessary. I don't need to engage his fleet. I mean, he's got one transport, so what can he really do, right? He can take this. I can't get at it. That's probably what he's going to do, so I can't retake it. But it doesn't matter. He's not going to be able to build enough there to hold it. I outspend him by a good margin. Plus, everything that he spends to hold that is going to be nothing he can do over here. So, yeah. So, it doesn't look like he's coming online. It is pretty late here on the East Coast. So, we'll call this an episode. And uh, we'll pick it up uh, round 10. Germany's turn. Thanks for coming by, everybody. Hit the like button, share, hit the notification bell. And if you care to, if you're coming here for the first time, hit the subscribe button. We post videos almost daily. So, if you want to get better... Uh, you want to get inside the brain, my brain, and see how I play. And I'm not the best, but I'm a pretty solid player. And uh, if you're just starting, you can learn a lot um, from what I do right and also what I do wrong. Um, so, yeah, I'd really appreciate a subscribe if you have one in your arsenal. And until then, we'll catch you around 10. See you.